morning guys, Sean Allen here. Welcome to another lunch break at Universal Studios Hollywood. Once again, I am back here at the Wizarding World Harry Potter. As you can probably guess, it's lunchtime. Let's get some lunch. The last time I was here, I got the fish and chips right there. It was delicious. We're going for something different. I don't see it on the menu here, but they do have it here. You'll see what I'll be getting in just a second. Days are approaching us, so they need plenty of firewood. Here we have the great feast right there. We have some other really delicious items here. There's the fish and chips I just mentioned about a few seconds ago. The spare ribs platter. Ooh, look at those desserts, they look good. The one I'm going for today is right there. The cheese toasty with chicken. Oh yeah. And let's not forget, there's a salad. By the way, you may notice I'm wearing my special Halloween Horror Nights leggings right there. These are awesome, I really like it. I'm sporting a trick or treat theme. Got the pants right here. Plus you got the shirt as well. I'm also wearing my 2018 Halloween Horror Nights sweatshirt because right now when I'm recording this video, we're in the midst of Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> Up there they have the menu right here. As you can see, the cheese toasty with chicken is a seasonal favorite right there. It has grilled English cheddar cheese with chicken, crispy bacon, mustard sauce, and sliced tomatoes served with a fresh salad or potato wedges. I could have got the salad, but I got the wedges instead. Oh yeah, and to top it all off, I got, of course, a frozen butter bear. It says right there on the label, Butterbeer. Oh, that, that was me. <laughs> so here it is, the cheese toasty with chicken. These are the potato wedges right here. I decided to get tartar sauce because these actually go really well with tartar sauce. I mean, it does have a little bit of flavor to them, but with the tartar sauce, it adds a lot more. And last but not least, yes, there it is, the frozen butterbeer. Let's just go ahead and get things started here. I'm gonna take my first sip of butterbeer. I'm gonna get the butterbeer mustache, or at least I'll try to. Let me get this angle just right. Oh, here we go, this will be perfect right here. First drink, cheers. Got a little my nose. <laughs> That's good. You know what's interesting? The butterscotch taste, sorry. <laughs> the first like taste of butterscotch is in the cream. The cream portion that they put on the top here. So if you mix this in, you'll get more of a butterscotch taste. I know a lot of people have been asking, what does it taste like? It's like, it's basically a butterscotch drink. I, I, I know people say that, oh, it tastes like cream soda or root beer. No, it's not root beer. I know what root beer tastes like. It's not a root beer, so. Yeah, it's butterscotch soda. And it's a slushy too, kind of like what you get at like the supermarket or like Target where they have ices and all that. That's basically what it is, the frozen butterbeer. I mean, they do have two other versions of butterbeer. They have the cold butterbeer. In other words, it's like the soda and they also put the cream on top. The hot butterbeer, I'm not sure what that's like. I'm pretty sure it's heated up like soda or something, but I've never actually tried it. Maybe during Christmas time, I'll try the hot butter beer. I'm gonna go ahead and just start eating right now. First bite. Yeah, way better. They say they have tomatoes in here, so I'm gonna take the tomatoes out. There they are, because I don't like tomatoes. This almost looks like sourdough bread. In fact, I think that's what it is. So once again, there's the sandwich. It has chicken, bacon, the English cheddar cheese, and the bread right there. I think it's sourdough. Yeah, here we go, first bite. Got the bacon on there, but whoops. I'll try again. The crust is really hard. That's why I'm having a hard time biting into it. The crust is like really hard. It's toasted, so yeah. Okay, I'm taking off a bit of the crust, and like I stated, it is crunchy and it's very hard to bite into, but let's try this again. Here we go. Chicken's really good, really juicy. I taste a little bit of the cheddar, 
love cheddar. Honestly, um, I know it's English cheddar, but I think what really would work, Swiss cheese. But, you know, we're not in Switzerland, so gotta go with the cheddar. But it's good. So what I've done is I've taken like a good half of the crust off of the bread here on both slices. And as you can see, when I, I'm gonna show you how hard it is. Like when I press into it, I'm pressing as hard as I can. I can't crush it. It's really, really like stale. They really toasted it good. Like the interior portion, it's soft, but right here, wow, it is hard as rock. Yeah, see? Really hard. Anyways, but you know what? It's toasted, so there you go. I think I just created a chaotic mess, but you know what? It's okay. I can taste the honey mustard. It's not spicy, but it's, it's there. I know it's there. I've had honey mustard before. There have been some honey mustards that I tried that have been really, really spicy, but this is very mild. It's really good. Now, I know what you're gonna ask me, Sean, we saw you peel off the tomatoes from the sandwich. Why? Why'd you take off the tomatoes? Because I have a really bad gag reflex when it comes to tomatoes, because I'm not a fan of tomatoes. Tomatoes don't like me for some reason, and I don't like them either. However, that's not the same if it was like in a sauce. Like if it's on a pizza, I'm perfectly fine because it doesn't taste like just raw tomato. I mean, there's spices and stuff in it, and it actually makes it better. But raw tomato, like this, keep it away from me <laughs> because I just do not like tomatoes, sorry. So in case you're wondering where I'm sitting, I'm literally on the edge between the Three Broomsticks restaurant and the Hogshead, which is the pub or bar right here. And look at this, this is cool. Hogshead brew right there. Every once in a while, the Hogshead comes alive and it's right there on the wall. You just heard it snort just now. And there's a special right there. Oh, that's yesterday's specials. Never mind. I thought that was today's. <laughs> As you can see, I have completely destroyed the cheese toasty with chicken. All that's left are the pieces of crust. Once again, I'm squeezing it. I am literally squeezing. You can hear it crunch a little bit. That's how hard it is. That is hard. Yikes. I still have a few potato wedges left, but I'll probably finish those off camera. So overall, what did I think of the sandwich? Well, it was good. The outer edges of it though were really hard. You probably noticed I had a couple of tries at the bread, but it was really, really difficult to bite into. The crust was the one that I think was a negative, but you know, it is toasted after all. So I just pulled off the crust and the bread in the midsection was nice and like not so crunchy, which is probably a good thing. If you guys remember a while back, like say, how long ago was it? March 13th, 2017. This was over a year ago when I was doing mealtime at Disneyland. There was a sandwich that I tried at the Pacific Wharf and it was the Turkey Pesto Club. I'm literally looking it up right now because I wanted to make sure I was correct on what I was saying. And that bread was so difficult and hard that, well, here, I'll just give you a, a little clip of what happened. So yeah, it, it was difficult, but it, this bread wasn't like that. This was a lot better than the Turkey Pesto Club. Just saying. And of course, the wedges were really good too. The potato by itself, it's all right. But when you add the tartar sauce, oh man, that stuff's awesome. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Lunch Break at Universal Studios Hollywood. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other videos here on YouTube as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I have a P.O. Box. If you guys want to see me mail, P.O. Box address is down below in the description of this video. If you can't see any of the description that I just mentioned, be sure to check out the Show More button that's on the description box down below. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Live from the Wizarding World, thank you so much for watching in the scene. And as I say in Hollywood, technically I'm in the Forbidden Forest. That, my friends, is a wrap. Wait, this is the Forbidden Forest, right?
I gotta get out of here. Aragog's in here. Ah!